Well, I know you'll make the right choice. And if you need any advice, I'm always here. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks, ma'am. Yeah, anytime. Actually, I've been meaning to run into you. Hello? Hello? What's good, everybody? What's good? It's your boy, Hollywood Sports. Man, we back on the My League with the NBA 2K20 with the Boston Celtics. Welcome to Hollywood Sports. If you're new to the channel, there's my man right there. There's my man ready to go listening on his headphones. All right. All right. All right. Welcome to another video, guys. Here we go, here we go. It's that time of the year. Happy holidays, everyone, from 2K Sports as we get set to bring you some mid-season NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. We're moving back up, guys. We're moving back up, baby. We're seven and a half out of first place. We're moving back up. You trust me. You trust me. Let's go. Realm right now in terms of their record. And you know, for the Celtics, they've done a good job staying relevant this season. I mean, I was concerned they'd suffer. Try to handle these Hornets. Just give them credit. They've hung in here in this playoff race. A resiliency has been crucial for this team. Anytime it looks like they may start to Here's drag our starting away, lineup, baby. Let's do it. Up and stayed in the hunt. And a look at the starters for the Hornets. Bridges out there with Washington. And there's Monk. And there's Bismack Biambo. And it's great. All right, let's go, one. let's go, let's go, and let's go. Brown and Hayworth, they're the wing. Tatum and Tatum There we go. We win the tip, low. baby. Here we go. And it's Walker in at the point guard. <clears throat> Brown dishes to Cantor. Start us out, bro. Start, start us out, baby. Uh. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Let's go. Oh, they blocked it. Oh, they playing D already. They playing D already. Stop ball. Stop ball, guys. This is the Washington. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's get it together. Let's get it together. Come get the ball, baby. Come get the ball. Come on. Come on. Come on, Tatum. Let's go, baby. Set the pick. Set the pick. There we go. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Let's go back. Ugh. Let's go. We need to get out to a good start, baby. Here we go. Athleticism with both these teams. I mean, it's every move so graceful. So skilled, I mean, majestic. It is, Kevin. There's an explosiveness. There's Stay with him. Ooh, good D. Let's roll it. Let's roll it out. Let's roll it out. There you go, Tatum. Take it, baby. Got a man on the wing. Got a man on the wing. Oh, he tried to give it back to you. There you go. Ooh. Ah. We're getting up to a slow start here. Let's go, baby. We got it. We got it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Give it back to him, Tatum. to get this game started. Brown, the Let's give it to the point Walker. guard. Let's give it to the point guard. Outside Tatum. Shoots over Biombo. Let's go. The they don't want none. Tatum. Charlie don't Tatum want none. They're coming in that house, baby. Let's go. This is right in Tatum's wheelhouse. That mid-range is his comfort zone. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Coach Borrego and I got a chance to talk for a bit. They were able to get a win off the side. Oh, look at Cantor. Look at Cantor with the block. Look at Cantor playing his D. Ooh, man, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Defense up in here. Very differently. Yeah, look at Cantor. Get that crap out of here. Thank you, David. Cantor playing him straight up. That's what I'm talking about, big man. The first one at the line is good. And the Celtics looking to bounce back and make another deep playoff run. And I think, Greg, they certainly have the talent to do it. This is a team that remains on the upswing. They have draft picks and assets. I think they are well positioned for the future. And the Charlotte franchise has been stuck in the middle for so long with Kemba Walker leaving this summer in free agency. Greg, is it time for them to hit the reset button? A rebuild does seem in order. I'm not sure they have the stomach for it, but they need to tear it down to the studs and, and start. Ooh! Ooh. Way to reverse it, baby. Way to reverse that. Six points for Jason Tatum. 
Yeah, they've been to a good start. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Lock up, lock up, guys. Lock up, baby. Lock up. Yeah, low kicks to Bridges. And Cantor pulls it down. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an over. Woo! 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 Let's do it. Let's do it. They don't want none, guys. They don't want none. Let's go. Some confidence. Well, if you continue to execute at both ends of the field, you can build on this type of execution. Well, if you continue to execute at both ends, you can build on this lead. Now, here's Monk. Looking at his point production. Good job, bro. Good job, baby. Where's it sticking? Where's it sticking? Where's it sticking? No, that's off, baby. That's off. Let's go. Ooh, good read that. Good read that. Hustle play, getting to the offensive glass for the tipping. And that's the kind of quality you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? Walker with it. Graham defending. Let's it go. And again, good job, Walker. Converting. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. To the paint. Here's oh, Walker. somebody! Did, somebody didn't get right on defense. It through. Oh, that's amazing. Somebody slipped up on defense. Come on, guys. A tight grip on that rim too after the finish. Walker the pass to Tatum. Brown outside. Back to Tatum. Six to shoot. Here's Cantor. It's rebounded by Charlotte. This game coming after a loss against the Jazz. Guys, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure it out, though. If you're going to shoot in the low 30s, you're going to end up losing a lot of games. Yeah, rough outing for their offense. You saw a spark here and there, but their main scorers just couldn't stay hot. Now Walker, after the miss three from Malik Monk. It's good. He's playing good basketball, baby. Here we go. Their interior has been inferior defensively. He's playing good basketball, baby. Let's go. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. And you look at Jason Tatum able to play either forward position. Doris, do you think his future is at the three or at the four? I think he is interchangeable at either position because his scoring can be devastating. For Jason Tatum, it's really a matter of making sure he continues to gain strength. We're playing continue to be Boston basketball now, baby. Defensive end and probably enhance his footwork around the rim a little bit. So a whole new group on the floor now for Charlotte. Here's Batum, and he converts the layup. Boy, it doesn't get any easier than that. What a size advantage, and just goes to work. And so Wanamaker will bring it up for the Boston Celtics, leading by five. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. And, you know, they played a terrific all-around game. The effort level was there as well as the production. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was hard to imagine them being much better at the offensive end. They were so efficient in almost every aspect. Now, here's Batum. Outside Cowan. Here's Rozier. And that'll be two free throws. Good D, good D. Officials on the call with the foul. Good D, we want to make it. And with a 6'8 arm span, uh, Terry Rozier doors plays a lot bigger than his 6'1 height. Kevin, there is no doubt this is one of the outstanding rebounders from the guard position. He is an excellent defensive player. Scary Terry can hurt you on both ends of the floor. And one of those little spark plug guys, Terry Rozier, plays the game with a, Greg, I think a chip on his shoulder. I mean, the story goes as a kid, when his temper flared, his mother would have to sit on him until he cooled down. He, he's learned to channel that fire and emotion into his game. Here's Wanamaker. To the middle, here's Williams. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. But showing that aggressive nature. Williams competes hard, doesn't back down, and he'll let his opponent know he's not afraid of the contact. <laughs> now, here's Rogier. I like the defense, guys. I like the defense. Good block, baby. Let's go. Here's one. Man, just pull up. Just pull up. Just pull up. Let's go. Let's pull these boys out early, man. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Now, here's Rogier. He started closer. Charlotte moving it around. <laughs> that one's no good. That boy some man. Guy, in this closer range, you've got to defend with everything you got. Ah, y'all don't want that, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, and what a way to Charlotte Hornets. Who are these Charlotte Hornets? A 
of the floor. And give them credit, Greg, for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. And so it's Boston holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Just tuning in. We've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And a, very a lot of banners, man. A lot of championship so banners. Uh, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Total intimidation that first period. That is what has helped power them to this early lead. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. And Charlotte, looking at who they've got. They've got Martin. Rogier's out there with Please the two. Out, and it's Trevor Ariza. And it's Collins in its center. Smart passes to Green. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Green's got the lead up to 13 now for Boston. Well, you have to admire how Smart is running this offense right now. He has a knack for spotting open teammates. Pass to Rogier. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Smart. The Hornets shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And that was a good pass by the Hornets. Has been the mark for them on the season thus far. A free throw drops for Batum. Doris, what's the best combination of inside-outside basketball you see offensively now? Well, two guys really come to mind immediately for me. It's Joel Embiid and Anthony Davis because both men can face up and knock down shots in a legitimate enough fashion that you've got to get out and contest those guys. But the other side of this is they can play in the post and be a legitimate back-to-the-basket force who you've got to guard with more than one guy. I mean, how exciting, Kevin, are Joel and AD? <laughs> I threw it out a little bit far from the basket, but he still got it. Good job, Williams. Oh, I tried to throw him the alley, baby, but he still got it. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. And around a minute gone here in the, the second quarter. The are not in our class, baby. Let's go. Here's Rozier. Get that crap out of here. They're able to recover. Get that crap out of here. <laughs> and pushing it up. Here's Williams. Three. He's a perfect three for three to start. Yeah, the Ooh, yeah. Let's terrific. go. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And the we got to be careful. We're drawing a lot of fouls right now. Of the great John Hatton. No, Greg, he spent his entire career with the Celtics. He won eight titles along the way. He was known as one of the great competitors. Want to make us a you ain't shooting that crap, bro. Individual. His legacy undoubtedly will live on. He misses the free throw. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for the Celtics. Even though y'all see me wearing the Charlotte Hornets hat, guys, I got this at EA Play one year with NBA Live. <laughs> He's off on the second. Celtics leading by 15. Real, on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Charlotte's had to wait a bit the last few years. Now, the city hosted the All-Star Game last season. But for the Hornets, they've gone three seasons without a playoff appearance and 15 seasons without winning a playoff series. We're just running the offense, baby. Just the running. franchise has had seven head coaches in a shifting front office. Buzz City is hoping that its wait for playoff relevance will end soon. Kevin? We all are. David, thank you. 
Here's Martin. Williams with the block. Yeah, the amazing thing about Williams. You know you ain't gonna shoot a Williams, bro. Inside, but he you know you ain't shoot no Williams. Out on the perimeter. His ability was a shot blocker. Let's go, man. Let's blow these boys out of the court. Out of our house. Here, where you're shooting from. We're playing good defense, man. Good defense. Outside, Martin. Tipped. They're trying to play one-on-one -on -one basketball. They don't have any ball movement or nothing. And let's use this break to check out a group of the NBA's best defenders recently. The shooting guards averaging Marcus the most Smart, one point one month. Second is Marcus Steals Smart. per game in the last thirty days. And general, that's defense, baby. The players on that list are outstanding. Those are the qualities you need to be an effective perimeter defender. The effective doesn't begin to describe this group. Their defensive skills are game-changing. And it isn't just the steals. It's the ability they have to get in their opponents' heads and force them into bad decisions. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Cantor is checked in for Robert Williams. Gordon Hayward comes in for Green. And Walker's up in for Brad Wanamaker. Bridges misses. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. People <laughs> look at that general yeah, you him, bro. with the team. I think it grows with some organization, maybe shrinks in importance with others. Uh, but by and large, it is more stable than coaching, isn't it? That, well, that position of being a GM. Yeah, and I think, Kevin, if you were to ask coaches, one of the things I've heard sort of thrown out there as an idea is when you list the head coach's record why not list the GM's record as well because the reality is success in the NBA is contingent on so many things what's your ownership like you don't what see too many tattoos on the legs man I like that one decision. on Jason Tatum's left leg the right there possible coaching comparative to the talent on your roster oh, look, so Tatum. much contributes to winning Kevin Hornets trail by 20 stolen by Smart and Will and deal, bro can't wheel and deal like that. Hey, Can't wheel and deal in. like that. Shot goes down. They're Very playing D. Right there. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is... And we haven't had an easy game in like, I don't know when, man. Now this, the Charlotte is just outclassed. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Smart leading the charge. And there's Ennis Cantor on the assist from Smart. Cantor's got his first bucket in this one. Oh, great ball movement there. And so Graham will bring it up for Charlotte. This time they met was in Charlotte. Well, they, they coasted to the win in that one. Were dominant in the rebound department, and that was a huge factor. Yeah, Charlotte has no offense, no guys. They're not good at all. I told you these sliders will reflect the good teams versus the bad teams. The court come the Celtics on the break. Here's Smart. Uses the Should have got a foul right there over the back. Smart's got four points now in the fourth. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. And the Hornets call time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is is it a problem with the scheme? The Hornets don't have anybody, guys. They don't have anybody. In a now to see some numbers. Do they have Jimbo one star on their team? 12 points, two assists, and two rebounds. And when he takes over at the point, he really keeps the offense flowing. Well, this is a guy who brings a solid skill set. Excellent ball handler, high level of playmaking, the perfect backup point. The Celtics have gotten on a roll and just kept going here in the second. Eight of eight. Wow. Hayward outside. Lays it up off the glass. Hayward's got his second bucket of the night. Those defenders just Man, I can't wait to see our shooting percentage at halftime. It's got to be high. We're on fire right now. Well, Gordon Hayward obviously still working his way back to peak form. No steal. Let's remember, this guy was an all-star in 2017. We know he can be a franchise guy. One oh two left to play here in the second quarter. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. 
The Hornets are just too slow, too. When Gordon Hayward is playing his best, what makes him? We're doing whatever we want to do on these guys. Well, he's right physically. He can be a go-to offensive weapon, Kevin. This guy is the true definition of triple threat, right? He can pick you apart with his passing, with his shooting, and also off the dribble drive. But when he's right, he is tough to stop. He hits the second from the line. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Graham surveying the floor. Biombo kicks to Monk. He's just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. Anytime Monk gets room to shoot, especially inside, he's such a crafty guard who you want to see pulling the trigger from inside. Tatum dishes to Walker. Back to Tatum. Over in the corner, Brown. Trains the three-pointer. Brown's got five points. <laughs> well, Gapping up with the, the fans. I like this. Get Jaylen back, Brown. boy. Contested jump shot, no problem. Shot and game clock separated by five. Now Graham. Man, we're just D'ing up right now. We're just D'ing up, guys. They can't do nothing. Pass to Bridges. Shot clock at six. Biombo with it. He's covered by Brown. Fires for three. And it's new, great. Uh, and so it's the Boston Celtics in complete command. Their lead at 28 points going into the break. Trophy error, it baby. Very tough to get a shot off against the rest is just academic. Stifling. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Coach, you're in a good position here at the break. What do you tell your team to make sure they don't let up? Well, I don't think it's about letting up or playing better. Or it's just playing the right way. We just have to play good basketball. And we talked about it before the game. That's our goal going into the game. That doesn't change no matter what the score is. So that'll be the discussion at halftime. Thanks very much, Coach. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. It'd be underway. nice if they showed the locker rooms in 2K. That would be a great idea. It's the 2K Sports Halftime in my show. League. I know they do it in my player, but I'm talking about and my league. Show being put on here they the show both fans. teams where the coaches are talking to them in the locker room. That would be a good idea for Madden. You bring that up. It was all Jason Tatum in the first quarter. He had 11 points, two block shots, and one <laughs> steal. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? That was the half of the super set for them. A lot of offense coming off the bench, and that's such a luxury to have that kind of firepower available. There were times when the pace picked up when the second unit came into the game, and that's the best part, having a bunch of guys who's ready at the drop of a hat. And big fella, your thoughts on the Hornets? Well, they struggle in a number of areas. Protecting the rim is really at the top of it. They haven't made that a priority. Wow, we're shooting 83%. 16 rebounds, 12 assists, 3 steals. I didn't see how many blocks we had, but we got a lot. <laughs> Good grief. Woo, we are on fire. Man. What is up with that? Well, Charlotte just ain't no... And there wasn't too much drama in the first well, We've been playing good teams up to now, man. Charlotte's just not that good. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. In those first two quarters, he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block. Well, you can see why they would continue to play through him. He was tough to stop, super assertive down low. Just great work. Tatum and Cantor together down low. Brown and Hayworth, they're the wing. They just can't and shoot, man. Walker in at the point. That's the group for Brad Stevens getting going here in the second half. Here's Tatum. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. And it's 13 points for Jason Tatum. Well, do not let Jason Tatum get space in transition. He will make you pay. Graham with the ball. Working Ooh, on we Walker. got double teams going. Monk. Woo! Takes a three. That shot off. And the Celtics going the other way now. And here is Brown. 
five points in the game. To the wing right side. Right side to Walker. Brown outside. And again, Boston with the triple. Well, this is a shot that Jalen Brown must make consistently. Nice seeing him start to look confident, stroking it from deep. The switch, the switch. Here's Monk, fended by Hayward. Oh, oh fellas, that was a vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. And was last season really the first full season we got to see of Malik Monk? was given a sizable part of the rotation and showed why he was a lottery pick for this team. And there's the bucket from Tatum. Tatum is well, on fire, baby. Largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. The shot by Monk is no good. During most of his rookie season, Monk was relegated to the bench. Not sure if it was development or opportunity. Hard to say for Monk. Fact is, you can see the knack for scoring he has, even if he's a bit of a volume scorer at this point. Biombo with it. Dishes to Bridges. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on Ennis Cantor. And the energy and athleticism of Bridges is off the charts. He is a tough cover for the defense. The Hornets have missed four of their eight free throws up to this point. Things not really going their way at the line yet. No good on the free throw. Doris, you graduated as your college's all-time assist leader. Talk about some of the key traits of a great playmaker. I think historically speaking, when we think about great lead guards, Kevin, we talk about unselfishness. Yeah, just not good, vision, guys. patience. Who are the players that make their teammates better? I told you these so sliders will reflect good teams, great teams, bad teams. To me, Kevin, is communication. They're are just not in our league right now. Looking for opportunities to communicate to your teammates, make them feel good about themselves, give them confidence. That, to me, is probably the most underrated aspect of it. And Doris, when you played, you took such great pride in each and every one of those things. I did. I love trying to make my teammates better. It feels great to make somebody feel good. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. We're making him earn it, though. For Charlotte, they have had an off night from the stripe tonight. That free throw good from Washington. And so he makes both from the line. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. And so Wanamaker Woo! for Boston. He kicks to Brown. Outside Williams. Nice ball movement by Boston. Just five to shoot. Trains it from 17 feet out. Williams has got eight points. You know, I know they want to make Williams a, a stretch four or five, but the mid-range jumper at present is still where he's most comfortable. That was my ball. Good. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Boston's gone three of three from three-point land here tonight. Outside Tatum. I don't know why and the that. Ball. 17 points in the game. Boy, you love the aggression. This is where Tatum has improved, converting off the bounce. Martin, the pass to Rozier. Good job, Williams, helping out. 158 left in the third quarter. Lock at six. They have no offense. From downtown. Rebounded by the Celtics. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Wanamaker, the pass to Williams. No good from 11 feet. Charlotte's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Washington, that's good. Yeah, well done to finish that one off. 
For Boston, they've gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. Williams passes to Wanamaker. Back to Brown. Down to five on the shot clock. He trades the shot bro. clock ticks down. Brown's got five points in the quarter. Well, you like the poise of the young player like Jalen Brown. He's not throwing up bad shots, just bides his time, doesn't let the clock affect him. In the corner, Collins with it. Man, we Outside got to be on lockdown, baby. We got it on lockdown. Now, here's Rogier. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Well, they've absolutely dominated that category in this one, and it's reflected in the score. Brown with it, and it's Martin picking him up. Brown, good. Now, Kev, Brown showing off that delicate touch, becoming much more reliable with his jumper the longer he plays in the NBA. Here's Rozier. I'm deep. And he got that one up in time. Lockdown, baby. Lockdown. Lock and so it's Boston. Sitting pretty as the quarter comes to a close. Their lead all the way up there at 35 points. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We'll return shortly. And meanwhile, Coach Brad Stevens talking to his team. We're playing play to play, okay? Great job scoring, coming down, directing the ball, being up to touch, making everything difficult, rebounding every time. Every time, every time the right way. Be us, no shortcuts. People got to respect what he just said during that break, encouraging his guys to rebound and defend. And Kevin, highlighting how important fundamental basketball is. Solid defense and aggressive rebounding gets you wins in this league. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out We're for this a lot team. Of bench guys right now. And on the court for Charlotte as we start the fourth. They've got Batum. McDaniels is out there with Collins. Then there's Terry Rozier. And it's Bacon into the small forward. Batum finds Collins. Back to Batum. And Nicholas Batum with the slam. Oh, what a pretty pass. Throw to the open spot. Lead your teammate perfectly. It was such an honor to be on this with you, and, and you were the first female to become a full-time NBA analyst, uh, breaking new ground. You've accomplished so much in your life, personally, professionally. What would you tell young women who are graduating college, looking to get ahead in their career in what you've chosen? Well, first and foremost, I've been very lucky, Kevin. The game of basketball has been a part of my life since I was seven. It's been a driving force. I love it. I would just tell young women, and times are changing, um, dream big. There's nothing that's impossible. And I'm so thankful to the NBA players and coaches who have just wrapped their arms around me from the time I entered uh, this business. So kudos to those players who are part of the change, no question. And, and hard work. I have seen you work. I have seen you prepare. No one prepares more. No one works harder than you. Thanks, Gab. Collins passes to Bacon. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. No, big finish, emphatic. He hangs on the rim just for good measure. Wow. Kicks to Green. Pass to Edwards. And Langford has it in the corner. Shoots over Batum. Langford misses. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for the Charlotte Hornets. The Oklahoma City Thunder will be in town for the next one. That game is the first and last of their homestand. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Pass to Edwards. Doris, we've both been very public in our admiration for LeBron, the face of the league. For so many years, when he retires, and we're, we're approaching that date, who do you think might step up and, and take his place as the face of the NBA? Well, probably the most likely candidate is the new and reigning MVP, and that's Giannis Antetokounmpo, who is an absolute physical force. He's put on 50 pounds. He's getting more and more skilled. 
when he adds that three-point shot as a consistent weapon and gets to an in-between game, he will be impossible to guard. Kawhi Leonard, you know, he is now sort of taking over as a multi-time winner of the finals MVP and certainly a player guys want to play with. So just a couple of possibilities there, Kev. Come on, Poirier. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. And, and Batum brings length and a versatile game to his spot on the wing. And, and his defense, always a big asset for this team. He's the kind of player that everybody needs to have out there. Kind of a glue guy. Buries it down low. The Celtics have gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of this is just the one make. Pass to Poirier. Now here's Edwards. He's guarded by Collins. Williams passes to Poirier. Five to shoot. And the shot clock expired. 24 second violation. First, do you have high hopes for the new draft lottery system uh, to, to keep every team competitive to the very end of the season? Well, one of the keys in implementing this new draft lottery system was to make sure that the bottom three teams were given equal opportunity to get that top draft choice. I think you did see it have some effect on uh, play and teams trying to be competitive while understanding they're still going to have an opportunity to build their team through the draft. But here's the reality. The NBA has got to be under review constantly. There's a process in play. It's one of the most proactive leagues in the country in terms of always looking for little things to make sure their game is the best it can be. Attention to detail. Well said. And that one is good. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Batum attacking, and that one is off. Now Boston takes it the other way. On the wing, Green. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter of this one, and it's Boston with another. We took care of business, now Batum. baby. And our, and our scrub guys, the bench guys getting some minutes. <clears throat> guys that don't never go. play. It's good from long range. Well, more and more you see big men working on the outside shot, and this guy has one of the better ones in the league. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Celtics. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. Can you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game? Yeah, there was a sense of that in, in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water a clinic was put on display here today and so this will mark the 15th win of the year for them and after dropping game one in this matchup they managed to take the second of a three game season series no question that's a morale booster and one of the key components to this victory if not the biggest was the incredible performance for jason tatum what a relentless scoring night for this guy in attack mode all evening what an effort to get the tip in. Just wanting it a little bit more. That'll be a five-second call. Celtics making a switch doing? here. Williams has checked in. Well, that's Bethune O'Pai. I had guys all doing everything. Yeah, he never seconds been seconds left to play in the final quarter. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Celtics. Langford kicks to Edwards. Passes it to Williams. The offense, guys. We're in the offense. Let's go. Celtics passing it around. Shot clock at five. And Langford has it in the corner. Shoots over Batum. Hornets with the rebound. Martin inside. Edwards defending. Martin the pass to Bacon. 
Here's Batum. Shoots over Langford. And Nicholas Batum, the bucket on the assist by Collins. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. It was a tale of two teams. Huge tonight, game. One that Huge game. Total control operating flawlessly. And the other just searching for answers that they could never find. Yeah, we I mean, did the dirty work. is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Gordon, very nice win for you guys tonight. You know, just proud of the way we fought. We thought we shared the basketball pretty well tonight. Played pretty solid defense as well. Um, we got the win, so. Great effort tonight, Gordon. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Olden. This is Kevin All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. You watched the screen. whole thing. I really Thank appreciate you, you watching. Tuning in. So long, everyone. If you're new to the channel, thank you for coming by.